And after experimenting around, I found a way in which you can create vertical videos from your videos. Howdy viewers, Brad Pryor, Barstool Entertainment, doing a sort of, how shall I say, educational type or instructional type video. With Mac, you have free software, uh, QuickTime and iMovie, and you can edit video with these features. One of the things you can do is vertical video, and I've done a few of those, but they're vertical recordings of me, and in the end, it was kind of like, okay, how do I do something a little more interesting. And after experimenting around, I found a way in which you can create vertical videos from your videos. It's not 100% perfect. It's not as good as if you had an actual vertical video editor. You don't get that panning or smoothness or moving, and it's not as good. I'm sure you can download some free vertical video editors, but with this method, it's effective, it works, and again, it's not 100% perfect, but you can use free software you have on your Mac computer. So I'm going to start with how to do the editing. Uh, now, first, you're going to have to open up iMovie, and I have QuickTime running because I'm doing screen recording. Now once you've opened up iMovie, you want to make sure you are on My Movie for Project Media. And you want to move your media into your media, uh, whatever, your, your workspace. And then you bring this down and I'm going to extend it out. And this is some video I recorded of my gameplay of Red Dead Redemption 2. And I'm just going to use this as an example. What you want to do is I'm going to just cut where I want to start. And I'm just going to, since these videos are supposed to be shorts, are supposed to be less than 60 seconds. I'm going to move about 60 seconds into this video, or close to 60 seconds as possible. I'll do 59, and you split the clip, and you delete. Then you go up to this crop tool right up here. And you go to here and you rotate the clip clockwise. Then what you do is you hit crop to fill. And you want to go to the beginning of your video and check it out. And go to the end of your video and check it out. Now, as I said, this is not perfect. It doesn't 100% follow the pan or smoothness that you would get, but it does work. And now you can adjust it a little bit like I'm doing now. Shift it over. You can't see real well on the mini screen, but I shift it over, then you hit the check mark, and there you go. And let's just run it to see what happens. You won't throw me? No, you didn't answer. Nasty little look in his eyes. Don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Now, it does work relatively well, as you can see. It's Again, it's not 100% perfect. Nothing's 100% centered at all times. But overall, it works. Now, this is the real good part is I'm going to go back and I have a vertical video 
watermark that I use for branding that I made in Keynote. I'm just going to shorten it to the length of the video. What's going on here? Highlight it. And I'm just going to shorten it to the length of the video. Then what I do is I rotate that as well. Go here. Make it a green screen so that it's watermarked over the video. And then what I do is I go back to project. And I call it part one because I'm going to actually resave this. And then I export part one to my desktop. And it's going to take a little bit here. Okay, that took longer to download than I thought, but you can then, if you see part one is now on my desktop in the, what would be upper right hand of the, of the screen, and you can delete this and get rid of it if you don't need it. And you close out of iMovie. And then you can open this back up in QuickTime. You go to Edit, Rotate Left, and there you have your vertical video. It will be good and it works with YouTube Shorts and various other vertical um, video uploads. I've done it and it works fine. What you want to do now with this video, it's called Untitled in the QuickTime. You hit this and you type in, I'm just going to call this um, horse just for a reason. This is an, ex you know, an example of a video and hit save. Again, it's going to take time to save. Okay, it's finally saved. As you see, right below part one is horse. And you open it up, you have a beautiful vertical video that you can upload to various sharing sites and you can show people your handiwork. It was all done in real, simple, free to use, quick time, and free software you have on your Mac. Well, folks, I hope you found that very, you know, entertaining or instructional. If you liked it and you did, hit the like button, you know, the thumbs up icon, and feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, I occasionally post non-video game related videos on my channel. So hit the subscribe button and bell icon if you don't want to miss out. Again, I post mainly video game related videos. If you've watched this far, thank you. It helps the Google algorithms or the YouTube algorithms, however they work. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And thanks for stopping by.